important definitions of formulas based on load curve and load duration curve. Important definitions of connected load, maximum demand, demand factor, average demand, diversity factor, load factor, units generated, plant capacity factor, reserve capacity and plant use factor. So let's see the definition and the formula for these important terms. So first one connected load. So it is defined as the sum of continuous rating of all equipments connected to the supply system. So if you consider our home, what are all the equipments connected? If you add all those uh, equipment rating, you will be getting the connected load. So consider a domestic load. In the domestic load, the consumer has connection of four fluorescent lamps, each rated uh, 40 watt, and four fans, each rated 60 watt, one iron box rated 1000 watt. So then the connected load will be 4 into 40 watts fluorescent lamp and 4 into 60 watts fan and 1 into 1000 watts iron box. So the connected load will be 1400 watts. So, so this is how uh, you can find the connected load. So the sum of connected load of all the consumer is the connected load to the power station. Second one, maximum demand. So it is defined as the peak value of load demand on power system during a given period. For example, if we consider one day, consider this load curve. So for 24 hours, the load curve varies like this. And by seeing this load curve, we observe that during the period 8 hours to 12 hours, the peak occurs. That is a maximum value. It is 80 megawatt. That is your maximum demand, 80 megawatt. Maximum demand is less than the connected load. The power station must be capable of meeting the maximum demand. Third one is demand factor. So demand factor is defined as the ratio of maximum demand on power station to its connected load. A simple formula demand factor equal to maximum demand divided by connected load. So since the maximum demand is less than the connected load, the value of demand factor is always less than 1. Fourth one average demand. So average demand is defined as the average of loads on the power station for a given period of time. So the given period, it may be a day, 24 hours, or a month, or a year. So it is also called average load. So we can say average load or average demand. So daily average load equal to number of units generated in a particular day divided by number of hours in a day, that is 24 hours. And monthly average load equal to number of units generated in a month divided by number of hours in a month, 24 into 30. And yearly average load is number of units generated in a year divided by number of hours in the year. Fifth one, diversity factor. So diversity factor is defined as the ratio of sum of individual maximum demand to the maximum demand on the power station. So you may be having number of consumers each having a different maximum demand during different period. Okay, so diversity factor is sum of individual maximum demand. Consumer 1 plus consumer 2 plus consumer 3 etc. divided by the overall maximum demand on the power station. That gives you the diversity factor. So the individual maximum demand of all consumer do not occur at same time. Therefore, the maximum demand on the power station is always less than the sum of individual maximum demand of the consumers. The diversity factor is always greater than 1. So the cost of generation is based on the diversity factor. See here, the diversity, if the diversity factor is high, then the cost of generation is less. Sixth one, load factor. So load factor is defined as the ratio of average load to the maximum demand during the given period. Load factor is average load divided by maximum demand. And we know that average load equal to number of units generated divided by number of hours. So you can substitute here, you will be getting load factor equal to number of units generated divided by maximum demand into number of hours. So these two formulas we can use based on the given data, we can select any one of these formulas. And for a given period, if for example, if it is a daily load factor, then we need to consider this formula, number of units generated in a day divided by maximum demand into 24 hours. 
and the monthly load factor similarly the number of hours alone differs it is 24 into 30 hours and the number of units generated in a month similarly for yearly load factor number of units generated in a year divided by maximum demand into number of hours in a year since average load is less than the maximum demand load factor is always less than 1 so cost per unit generation is less if load factor is high seventh one units generated so it is a product of average load and the number of hours average load in terms of uh, load factor it is maximum demand into load factor you can substitute you will be getting units generated equal to maximum demand into load factor into number of hours for a particular day it is maximum demand into load factor into number of hours in a day for monthly it is number of hours in a month and yearly it is number of hours in a year so you can use this formula based on the given data eighth one plant capacity factor so the plant capacity factor is defined as the ratio of actual energy produced to the maximum possible energy that could have been produced during a given period so this is a formula plant capacity factor equal to actual energy produced divided by maximum energy that could have been produced so actual energy produced is average demand into number of hours divided by the plant capacity into number of hours the plant capacity factor equal to units generated divided by plant capacity into number of hours daily plant capacity factor so the number of hours is 24 hours similarly for monthly plant capacity factor and annual plant capacity factor ninth one reserve capacity to meet the increase in load demand the power system is designed with some reserve capacity so the difference between load factor and plant capacity factor is an indication of reserve capacity reserve capacity equal to plant capacity minus the maximum demand tenth one plant use factor so plant use factor is defined as the ratio of units generated to the product of plant capacity and the number of operating hours plant use factor equal to units generated divided by plant capacity into hours of use these are the important 10 definitions and formulas. You can use these formulas while solving the problems based on load curve and load duration curve.